Let's begin with that last ditch effort from several Republican senators to contest the results of the 2020 presidential election. In a joint statement today, Senator Ted Cruz and 10 other GOP senators say they intend to vote to, quote, reject the electors from disputed states as not regularly given and lawfully certified unless an emergency 10 day audit is done. NBC Shannon Petty pieces at the White House with more. So, Shannon, can you tell us what this audit is, what they're calling for, and will it go anywhere? Well, and it's also unclear why they are waiting until now, just days before they are set to vote, uh, to certify the Electoral College votes. Uh, to call for this audit, uh, which is, according to their statement description, would be quite extensive. Uh, they're saying that they want to see a full investigation, fact-finding authority to conduct an emergency 10-day audit of the election results in disputed states. Once completed, the individual states would then evaluate the commission's findings and could convene a special legislative session to certify a change in their vote if needed. Of course, now coming less than 20 days before the inauguration for them calling for this. Now, this does not change the odds or the likelihood in any way that the House and the Senate will certify the Electoral College votes on January 6th. It does create some of the drama that and theatrics that President Trump has been trying to create in these final days. And of course, the senators who signed on to this statement are some of his biggest supporters, like Senator Cruz and Senator Blackburn. Um, but while it is really historically unprecedented, to see now about a dozen senators indicating that they will not vote to certify the election results. It's still far short of the 53 Republicans in the Senate right now and with a number of moderate senators coming out and saying that they plan to vote for a certification. Uh, there is no likelihood or nothing that indicates that it will not be certified by the Senate as we have been projecting even before this statement. So, Shannon, you say that it'll get the president the result that he wants, which is more theatrics, more attention on this process. But is there any indication that the people in that building behind you are orchestrating this? Well, you know, the Trump campaign very quickly put out a statement following this, thanking these senators for issuing this statement for saying that they won't vote for certification. Uh, you know, of course, when the president signed the COVID relief bill, one of the things he said he one of the reasons he said he was signing that COVID relief bill is because the House and Senate had told him that they would take up this issue of voter fraud. So in a way, it is again getting what the president said he wanted for giving them that signature on the COVID relief bill uh, and not allowing the government to be shut down. So certainly this is something the president is pushing for something his campaign is behind and he has now found a number of allies on the hill to back it as well and shannon we've seen the president use twitter recently to continue to try and overturn this election that he lost and undermine the georgia runoff elections that are happening this week what are his next steps here especially with this latest move by republicans in support of his actions Right. Well, in on Georgia, he's planning to go down there and do a rally, um, though it's unclear how much that will be to help those candidates out there versus to give himself a platform to air his issues and, and grievances about the election results. Oftentimes when he goes someplace to campaign for candidates, it's 95 percent about him and his agenda with a little bit of the other candidates he's down there campaigning for sprinkled in. So he will be going to Georgia. But just uh, in recent days on his Twitter feed, a number of times he has continued to under uh, credit, discredit the validity of this Georgia election, most recently calling it illegal. So again, if in fact Republicans do win those Senate seats, it will now be on an election that the president has said was conducted illegal. So raising questions about the validity of the results if Republicans are even successful and win on January 5th. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.